Hey everyone, welcome back to Code One Digest channel. If you have ever built a Node.js application that needs a database, and let's be honest, you know the pain of setting up both environment, getting them to talk to each other, and making sure all the versions line up. Well, forget juggling multiple terminals window and complicated startup scripts. Today we are going to master the tool that brings it all together, that is Docker Compose. In this tutorial, I am going to walk you step by step through creating a single, simple Docker Compose YAML file that will instantly spin up both your Node.js application and a running Postgres database fully configured and connected. This is not just a theory, we are going hands on. By the end of this video, you will be able to containerize and orchestrate your entire development stack with a single command. It's a massive time saver and fundamentally skill for any modern developer. So let's dive right into the code. Okay friends, so let's start with the implementation of our Node.js project. And I'll show you step by step how to create Node.js project. And then we'll create a Docker file. Then we'll create a Docker compose file. Okay, so let's start. Just create a new directory. And then we'll load this into Visual Studio Code. I have loaded that project directory in Visual Studio Code. Let's create a package.json and let's add all the scripts and dependencies that we need. So you can initialize the package.json and add the dependencies, but I'm just sharing what all dependencies are required in this project. So I'll be sharing this project in my GitHub repository. The link is provided in the description section of this video. So you can download this project. We'll have this package.json directly with you along with all other files. Once this is done, then we'll go to our terminal and we'll do npm install so that it will download all the dependencies defined in a package.json file. Let's do that. It will take a minute or so. Once all the dependencies are downloaded as per the package.json file, then we'll go to index.js file and we'll start our coding. This is required because all the required libraries should be available in the project before we start coding. Hence, we are doing this step. Yes, it is done. If you can see package log.json is created here, you can see the node module directory is created with all the dependencies. Now, will we start adding code in our index.js file? Okay, let's do that. So here is the code of my index.js file, very simple project using express from express, a pool from PG, Initializing the connection pool based on this environment variable database URL will provide a database URL from our Docker compose file. Just remember that we're defining the API here slash API now running a query on our Postgres DB that select now as now and this is my return object return JSON message hello from a node.js API DB time row zero now which we have received from our database timestamp of server and instead of success so this will be returned i am starting my application by listing on the port port i am defining again from my environment variable and some log statement here and so on right so this is a very basic very simple application we can start our node.js application and postgres application together in a single via single docker compose file which will take care of starting this application, starting the database first, then starting the Node.js application, then also taking care of the volumes and also the network between these two applications, networking between these two applications using a bridge network. So we'll see all of that now. Okay, so now next step is to create a Docker file for our application. Let's do that. Docker file for this node.js application i am downloading a image of node 18 alpine then just setting a working directory copying packages then npm command this is not required if you want you can create a non-root user just for security reasons then copying everything from current folder to the container to the image finally just giving a command here and just defining a node environment as production and the command is node index.js so the very basic docker file now what we'll do is we'll create uh, our docker compose file 
friends before we proceed in this video i request you to subscribe this channel to grow code one digest family friends i am creating a lot of quality videos on programming coding concepts design pattern and design principles cloud and container technologies but i am not getting subscribers i request you to like share and subscribe this channel so that i can grow a code one digest family thank you so that also we have to create at the root of the project so we say docker hyphen compose dot yml file right so if you see our docker file start with capital d but our docker compose file is all in a small case with docker hyphen compose dot yml let's add the code into docker compose file we'll add all the required services so primarily we'll add two services one is to download the postgres db and second is to build and run our node.js application let us do that okay friends so if you see here is my docker compose file i have created it starts with services then the first service we are defining the postgres the image we will be using postgres 15 alpine we are defining container name as postgres db and these are the environment variable we are seeing uh, postgres db same way user is postgres password is password123 and these are pg data location inside the container and the volume then ports which port i want to run so this is my host port and this is my container port so i'm mapping my container port to my host port uh, why i'm doing that uh, my container port inside a container postgres will be running on 5432 port but i will be mapping that to my 5435 port in my host machine why because i am already running a local postgres on 5432 hence i'll get address already in used or binding error hence i'm using a different port for my host machine the postgres on 5432 port inside a container so from inside a container 5432 port will map to my host machine 5435 port then network is app network so this will define at the bottom of this file that means this postgres will be using app network health check this is optional if you want you can add it otherwise you can skip it so this is just a instructions how to start our postgres db now this is done we'll come to our next step is to build and run our node.js application so this is where we start our node.js application so app build context that is from current folder we will be running we'll have we have this docker compose in the current folder in the project folder it's that is why it is dot docker file is provided what is docker file the docker file is docker file here container name so we are saying the container name will be node.js app now we are defining few environment variable like node environment production if we don't provide it it will be considered as production and port it will be running on 3000 port this is important we are providing a database url so that this database url is used in our index.js file if you see here process env database url so database url this database url is coming from here so database url postgres then user is postgres password is password 123 then at the rate postgres 5432 and postgres db and this is my db name node app db if you see here i am using 5432 instead of 5435 why 5435 is the port for the host let's say if i want to connect this database application which is running on the host then i'll use 5434 but if i'm running an application in a container like node.js application running in a container then it has to use the container port of the database that is 5432 so container port of database is 5432 hence i'm using 5432 in my database url right then port of our application is 3000 to 3000 we are creating a mapping that in the in the container it will be 3000 and in the host also it will be 3000 so when we'll hit the api from browser so we will be hitting it on 3000 only depends on is important we are saying postgres that is this node.js service depends on postgres service so postgres service we have defined here this postgres service what does that mean this depends on says 
this application depends on Postgres. Hence, let's start Postgres first. So it will ensure that our database is starting and getting ready first. Then we'll be starting our application service, Node.js application service, right? So depends on is important here. And condition we are seeing the service is healthy. That means Postgres is healthy. Then only we'll start this application. Now network again. So networks we are using app network the same network as database app network so both both the services are using the same network hence once we define a networking at the bottom you will see that so both services will be part of the same network now volume for this application and health check this is optional you can have it you can skip it that's fine now let's come to the volumes volume is another service that we are defining here for Postgres data, we are saying driver local. Okay, so Postgres data, if you see, we have defined it here in our volumes here. So Postgres data, we are saying it will use a local and network, as I said, right? So network, we have said app network. This app network we are using for both the services for our Node.js application as well as for our database application. And we are saying driver bridge. So basically, we are using a bridge subnet, bridge network to connect these two services these two applications so they are connecting through a bridge network two containers are connecting via bridge network we have defined the docker compose file so now we are ready to run this docker compose file and see if it is successfully connecting to database or not once the application is up and running then we'll hit the url and see if we are getting this response I came back to the terminal and here we have all these files that we have created in the project package.json, index.js file, docker file and docker compose.eml file. Now there is a command docker compose command. We say docker compose up. So what this command does is it will scan the instructions in the docker compose file. Then it will start the Postgres DB as per the instructions first then it will start our node.js application and ensure that they are connecting to a bridge network as if we have defined it right but before that let's see what all images we have so let's do docker images and it will show me all the images that i have so i don't have any node.js image will create a new postgres 12 i have so it will download postgres 15 today okay let's clear this and no container running as of now okay so let's do that will run the command docker compose up this is a command to start the docker compose file and it will start scanning the instructions inside the docker compose file and start the service then it will install all the services one by one so it will first start postgres database service and then it will start our node.js service and so let's do that so it says pooling postgres because it is downloading it as per the instructions once the image is downloaded it will be available in images and then it will run into a docker container yeah seeing database system is ready to accept connection it will wait for service to come up our application started this is our node.js application now let's go to a browser and hit the endpoint and what is the endpoint we have this endpoint localhost 3000 slash api slash now let's do that localhost 3000 slash api slash now right yeah so we are getting the message hello from node.js api db time is this 31st 10 2025 446 and the timestamp of a server is 446 status is success so it is returning this response for our application that means we have created successfully these two services through a docker compose file now imagine if we don't use docker compose file then we have to do all that into two different docker file first docker file is for our node.js application build this application then use a docker run command to run it then use another docker run command to run the postgres 15 image right and we may have to provide a 
networking instructions again separately and port mappings etc in a docker file instead of managing these two separate docker files considering it as a single application api and backend database together running together hence docker compose is a viable solution easiest way to run it together but remember docker compose is not recommended for the production this is for a developer where developer can quickly start all the component of application and save their time so in a single file you can provide the instruction easily and start your development environment with all required applications like node.js application postgres application and so on in production we use kubernetes for orchestration but in development environment we use docker compose to orchestrate these containers let's go back to the theory okay friends so i'll be sharing all this code this project in my github repository of code one digest you can download this repository you can start running it in your local so don't worry about the code uh, it is provided in a github repository the link provided in a description section of this video okay friends so there you have it in just few minutes we have gone from a separate application and database component to a fully orchestrated single command development environment using docker compose to quickly recap what we covered we started with two distinct services our node.js application which needed a docker file to build its image and our postgres database using a ready-made image we need docker compose yaml file to define the services link them on a single internal network map the necessary ports and most importantly use a volume to ensure our database data is persistent the result our simple command docker compose up now spins off your entire app stack ready for development mastering docker compose is crucial for modern development workflow it eliminates local setup problem drastically speeds up the setup time if you found this tutorial helpful be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to code one digest for more clear and practical deep dive into development and devops tools let me know in the comments what other container topics you want me to cover next thank you friends if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues this is very useful information for students beginners and software engineers i am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents so please help me growing the code one digest family please subscribe to code one digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos thank you